also like ask to continue to remember mom and dad in prayer. She's doing better. Um, they've started her on some therapy, and uh, she's perking up a bit, so just needs to get that spirit lifted up. But she's, you know, feeling kind of stuck at home and can't do much. And she used to love to read, and she can't read right now. So just just remember in prayer. We appreciate it. Our precious Heavenly Father, oh Lord, we're just so grateful for another opportunity to be here, Lord, and to worship you in spirit and in truth, because truly, Father, you have been leading us and guiding us along the way, and you're with us so much, Lord, and you just are so protective and so loving and so kind to us, and Lord, we're just so thankful that we can come before you and present these needs, Lord, because the body of Christ is in need, and the devil is fighting us in many, many ways, Lord, and we just, as we heard the messages this week that Brother Brud had preached on Resist the Devil, Lord, it, it so touched our heart and gave us strength to carry on, Lord. And so we just pre present these needs before you this night, knowing that you have heard and that you will move in our behalf as your word promises, Lord. And we ask, Lord, that you would be in this service tonight, each and every word that is spoken each song that is sung, may you be glorified and lifted up. We just love you and appreciate you and thank you for all you do. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm nearer home than I was yesterday. I'm closer to God along the way each step I take. place a mansion fair and skies are bright where all who believe the savior dear forever shall stay and having been saved by grace divine i'm going that way i'm going that way i'm going that way and jesus the savior i adore with each day i cling to him and never to stray Yes, yeah, singing His praises all day long, I'm going that way. The glorious news I'll tell and sing as onward I go. That those who are still a sin, my Savior may know. I want to sing His praise above some beautiful day. For glory to Him who died for me, I'm going that way. I'm going that way. I'm going that way, and Jesus the 
Savior I adore with me each day. I'll cling to Him and never to stray. Yes, yeah, singing His praises all day long, I'm going that way. I know I shall meet Him face to face, the trials are past. I know I shall meet Him face to face, in glory at last. And oh, I believe that when we meet, well done, He will say. For trusting His soul, redeeming love, I'm going that way. I'm going that way. I'm going that way. And Jesus, the Savior, I adore with me each day. I'll cling to Him and ever to say. Yes, singing His praises all day long. I'm going that way. Oh, I'm going that way. I'm going that way. And Jesus, the Savior, I adore with me each day. I'll cling to Him and never to stray. Yes, singing His praises all day long. I'm going that way. Brother Charles, come up and sing for us, please, would you? And Sister Charity, would you give us a song? grace that he gave unworthy to hold to his hand amazed that a king would reach down to a slave this love I cannot understand unworthy unworthy a beggar in bondage and alone oh but he By His grace, His mercy has made me His own. My faults and my failures laid stripes on His back. My sins caused the blood that was shed. My faults and my failures crown that he wore. Crown I wore. in bondage and alone oh but he made me worthy and now by his grace his mercy has made me his own unworthy so unworthy of pain. 
feel that unworthiness of being what that he has appointed us to be but then to turn around and say I don't know why he chose me and all of that that's not a great idea because he done that before the foundation of the world he knew why he done it so we don't have to feel guilty because he did call us but we feel blessed that he did call us. We don't have to brag about ourselves, but we are thankful to him that he made that choice before we was ever spoken about. Before your name was ever called, he, he already knew that he would make you that. You, we can't really say that Whenever he calls us saints, then we got to accept that as being his choice. He chose us. And we th we're thankful to him for it. Grateful for his choice. Because just to know that we're unworthy is one thing, but to say, well, I don't know why. Well, he knew why. We thank him that he did. And praise him, praise his name. All right, sister, come on if you would. And Sister Beth, get us a song, please. As I kneel before you and my daily list of things to do seem of no importance cause when I think of who you are and what you've done for me I want to give you all that I can give Lord all I have is me giver of life, supreme sacrifice, mold me into your likeness, and make me more like you, I want to be what you want me to be, a vessel strong and true, giver of life. Search me, Lord, and know my heart, and feel the love within. Hear the praise that rings for you, and feel the joy you give. Let my life reflect your love to everyone I meet. I want to give you all that I can give. Lord, all I have is me, giver of life, supreme sacrifice, mold me into your likeness, and make me more like you, I want to be what you want me to be, a vessel strong and true. Give 
giver of life, I give my life to you. Search me, Lord, know my heart, and feel the love within. Hear the praise it brings for you, and feel the joy you give. Let my life reflect your love to everyone I see. I want to give you all that I can give, but Lord, all I have is me. Giver of life, supreme sacrifice, mold me into your likeness and make more like you I want to be what you want me to be a vessel strong and true giver of life I give my life to you thank you sister all right, Sister Beth. Then, uh, Sister Hope and Sister Becky. Give us some. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He has loosed the faithful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is mine.
Sophie was outside at my neighbor's house playing on a slip and slide, and I wasn't at home. They were watching her for me, and she cut her foot somehow. We still don't know how she cut it, but she cut it from the toe all the way to the where your foot meets your leg. leg. And I took her to the doctor, and she got through it, but she was really upset. And I, they had to wrap her up because they couldn't have her touching her foot, and he had to shoot her with lidocaine, and she was just screaming. And I just prayed. I said, Lord, just let a piece of you just come into this room and just help her feel okay because I can't do anything to help her. And I just kept praying for the peace of God that passes all understanding, which is my favorite verse, and Bud says it all the time. And she just completely calmed down, and he was able to stitch it up. And when I took her back for the checkup, he couldn't believe how well it healed and stayed together. And she goes, God did it. And I just I just want to thank the Lord for helping her because he – the doctor was like, I just can't believe how well it healed, and I want to thank him for that. Amen. All right, sister, if you all come on, then, uh, Paul, you all get ready to sing next, please. never saw the cross he carried up to Calvary's hill and I never saw the precious blood that my Savior spilled I never Mob that cried, oh, let him be crucified. No, I never saw it. I still believe for me he died. And every step that to Calvary and every drop of blood he shed he shed for me there's a lot The many burdens that my Savior bore, and I never saw the crown of thorns that my Jesus wore. I never saw that lonely hill where he was crucified. 
find Oh, and no, I never saw it I still believe for me There's a lot, a lot of things I cannot see. Oh, but I, I believe when Jesus died, he died for me. And every step that he took to Calvary, and every drop of blood he shed, he shed for me. There's a lot, a lot of things I cannot see. Oh, but I, I believe when Jesus died, He died for me. All right, you all come on tonight. What would I do? Without Jesus, the shepherd of my valley, Lord, I just couldn't walk this road alone. When I'm hungry, He feeds me. When I'm thirsty, He's my water. I couldn't make it. Without Jesus, what would I do? When I need someone to talk to, He's always there to listen. His arms fold about me, He rocks me in His bosom. What would I do? Jesus, the shepherd of my valley, I couldn't make it without Jesus, what would I do? When my tears flow like a river, and my burdens are high as a mountain, and when the one I've counted on have let me down That's when I go to Jesus He's the one that I can count on I couldn't make it 
without Jesus, what would I do? When I need someone to talk to, He's always there to listen. When His arms fold about me, He rocks me in His bosom. What would I do without Jesus, the shepherd of my valley? someone to talk to. He's always there to listen. When his arms fold about me, he rocks me in his bosom. What would I do without Jesus, the shepherd of my valley? I just want to thank the Lord real quick. Sunday uh, night, I came up for prayer for a pain and stiffness I was having in my neck, and it was causing me a lot of discomfort, and it's almost, almost completely gone, and I just want to thank the Lord for that. Always good to see our brothers and sisters get back with us. And just glad for each one of them to be here. I know that uh, uh, Sister Michelle and Brother Steve couldn't make it tonight because of not feeling well, but we're glad for them to be back. The rest of them will be back by Sunday. So I want to thank the Lord for safe journey that he's given them. And uh, just to be able to greet them again and uh, let them know that we missed them. So, and I surely did. And I thank the Lord for my brothers and sisters and f for all of you and for those that are in other countries tonight that will hear this message either on by uh, listening on the internet or by uh, hearing it later. So. May the Lord bless them. We're always glad to know that we have brothers and sisters around throughout this world. So I don't know where all this goes to, but I know that it does circulate to different countries and everything. So we appreciate people listening and for the grace of God that he's shown us. Let's stand at this time if we would. And Turn the service over to Brother Bud. May the Lord bless our brother. Amen. Let us just look to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come once again in your presence, and we thank you, Father, for your goodness and mercy and for every precious blessing that you have bestowed upon us. And Father, I pray once again as I stand here, in your divine presence and before these precious brothers and sisters. Father, I ask that you will anoint this vessel of clay and help me to speak and say the things that you would have to be spoken here tonight. Father, may you be glorified in what is said here tonight. We humbly ask these things in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, you can be seated. Before I get into the message, I just want to give a little brief testimony about our trip to Norway. We had a very pleasant time. Uh, 
the weather over there was very cool and it rained every day but one not all day long it's the first time that it's been that way at this time of the year and for as many days that it, as it rained they said in about eight or nine years it's normally cool when we go over there but it was quite cool this time and our brothers and sisters we could not have asked to have been treated any better and we just appreciate the fellowship that we had over there with our brothers and sisters. I want to say there was two young brothers that went there from Faith Assembly, Brother Tim Shaw and Brother Jeremy Crace. And their parents should be very proud of them. They conducted themselves as true Christian men should conduct themselves. I was very honored that they were from Faith Assembly. And I've never saw any conduct out of them that was any different than when they was over there, but I was just very honored that they <clears throat> were there and that they were a part of the meetings. My title tonight is Waiting Patiently on the Lord. Sometimes we get impatient and get ahead of the Lord in some things. I'm going to go to the book of Isaiah, the 40th chapter. <clears throat> starting in the 28th verse. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the Creator of the ends of the earth fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of His understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, He increaseth strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Are we catching this, brothers and sisters? They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Brothers and sisters, it would behoove every child of God to not be impatient and to wait upon the Lord for His divine leadership and guidance in our lives. Sometimes we have thoughts 
and intense that are, are, are our own, and we should wait upon the Lord till we have a direction from Him. When Brother Frank Onfines asked me to come to Norway for the summer meetings, I told him, yes, if it is the Lord's will. And I began to pray and ask the Lord to show me if I was really to go or not to go. In my heart, I wanted to fellowship with the brothers and sisters, but I did not want to go against God's will. And I prayed every day, several times a day, Father, show me whether I am to go or not. And when we was out west in Yellowstone, I got up one morning in the motel, and I, as I was getting ready, I was praying, and I asked the Lord, Father, show me whether I am to go or not. And Brother David, I didn't hear an audible voice, but I have never experienced something like that in my Christian life. It was as though I heard a voice. It said, Go, my son, go. And I just was amazed, and I said, Father, is that you speaking to me? And again, Go, my son, go. And I immediately contacted Brother Steve and told him to make the arrangements. And I contacted Sister Michelle and Brother Rob and asked them if they were still willing to go. So I had a direction from the Lord. And brothers and sisters, it would behoove each one of us to not be impatient and make decisions on our own. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Go with me to the book of Luke, the 21st chapter. I'm just going to read one verse. Luke 21 and verse 19. In your patience possess ye your souls. Brothers and sisters, we are to be patient and not get ahead of the Lord, making hasty decisions, no matter what we feel that we would like to do. I encourage each one of you to Pray and seek the Lord's guidance. I put fleeces before the Lord in certain situations. I ask, Lord, if it is your will for me to do this, then I put up a fleece before the Lord. Give me a sign. And if it is not honored in that way that I should do it, I will not do it. The book of Psalms, 
the 27th chapter. Starting in the seventh verse. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou saidest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies. For false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Brothers and sisters, like I said just a few minutes ago, it would behoove every one of us, every child of God, to wait patiently upon the Lord. To not get thoughts in our mind. Well, I want to do this. I want to do that. I think I should do this. I think I should do that. Know that it is the will of the Lord. Now, if you're going to sit down to eat, if you're hungry, it's God's will that you should eat. But I'm talking about serious matters. If you have something like a, I was going to Norway, pray about it. Put it before the Lord. If there's a serious situation in your life, then wait patiently upon the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Now, I, I'm not, I don't want you to turn to the 37 Psalms, but it says, rest in the Lord and wait patiently. For him. Psalms 40. Verses 1 through 5. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me. And heard my cry. He brought me up also out of an horrible pit. Out of the miry clay. 
and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. He And he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust, and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O Lord, my God, are thy wonderful works, which thou hast done, and thy thoughts, which are to usward, they cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. I preached a message years ago. Our blessings are innumerable. Brothers and sisters, God, God's blessings, we can't even count them. They are so many. And if we wait upon the Lord and do, do not get ahead of Him, He will strengthen us. He will sustain us. Though somebody has talked about us, if we wait patiently upon the Lord and seek His guidance, He will instruct us how to handle every situation. Go with me to the book of Romans. The fifth chapter. Verses 1 through 5. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into His grace, wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience. And experience hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given to us. We glory in tribulations. Because tribulations worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. I don't pray. When I pray, I don't pray, Lord, bring a tribulation so that I can have patience. But in my tribulations... I pray, Father, help me to not get ahead of you. Help me to be in your perfect will. Help me to have patience that I should have. Brothers and sisters, sometimes things are brought against us that we think, well, if I do this, if I do that, this will work it out. This will solve the problem. 
Brothers and sisters, go before the Lord and seek His perfect will and His divine leadership and guidance and be patient and wait till you have a divine answer from God. Hebrews, the sixth chapter. Verses 11 through 15. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end, that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. For when God made promise to Abraham, because he could Swear by no greater, he swear by himself, saying, Surely, blessing, I will bless thee, and multiplying, I will multiply thee. And so, after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. After Abraham had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. Brothers and sisters, I can assure you, if you're faced with a decision, and you wait patiently upon the Lord for His divine leadership, and you don't Run ahead of the Lord. He will instruct you. Because He has promised never to leave us. Never to forsake us. He has promised in His Word that He would lead and guide every child of His. So let us not be impatient, but let us be patient and wait upon the Lord for His instruction. I know I am hurrying through these, but I don't want to just dwell on it. I think the Scripture speaks very plain for itself. Let us go to the tenth chapter of the book of Hebrews. Verses 36 through 39. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that will shall come, will come, and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. And Brothers and sisters, we have need of patience. Every 
true child of God has need of patience. We do not want to get ahead of the Lord. Just go right over to the 12th chapter. Verses 1 and 2. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before Him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Let us run the race that is set before us with patience. Brothers and sisters, some are running the race, race, and they're running it without patience. And that is not according to the Word of God. We are all in a race. And we will all finish the race that is set before us. But let us run the race with patience. God gives us the patience if we will only abide by His Word. Now, for my last scripture, and I know I'm cutting it short tonight, but this is what I feel that I have for my brothers and sisters. We're going to go to the fifth chapter of the book of James. Verses 7 and 8. Be patient, therefore, brethren, Unto the coming of the Lord, behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth, and hath long patience for it, until he receive the early and latter rain. Be ye also patient, establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Be ye also patient. Brothers and sisters, I know this was a simple message. But as I was praying last night and today, and as I was praying on the airplanes coming home from Norway, I was asking, Lord, what would you have for me to minister to my precious brothers and sisters? And the word patience came to my mind. And I thought, how can I take a message 
just on the word patience. But as I continued praying, when I got up this morning, I sat down at my desk. And again, I asked, Lord, what would you have for me to minister to my brothers and sisters? And I opened up my Bible, and it fell on one of these Scriptures. And I said, Lord, is this what you want? And as I went through the day, these were the only Scriptures that spoke to my heart. Brothers and sisters, we don't need to run ahead of the Lord. We need to be patient and wait upon Him. If there is a decision in your life that is an important decision, wait patiently upon the Lord. And He will give you the answer if you wait upon him be ye there or be ye also patient establish your hearts for the coming of the lord draweth nigh and that is my message for this evening i know it was a short message but if i try to continue it the Lord will not be pleased because I would just be saying words on my own. So I'm going to conclude the message tonight. Heavenly Father, I humbly bow in Your presence. And Father, I know that You gave me these Scriptures to read before my precious brothers and sisters. And I pray, Father, that You will be glorified in this message tonight. And I know that You will be glorified in Your Word. Father, I pray that my brothers and sisters will wait patiently upon You for Your divine leadership and guidance in their spiritual walk with You. I pray, Father, that You will bless my precious brothers and sisters. And may You continue to help us and to lead us and guide us by Your precious Spirit. Father, You know that we as humans have decisions that we are faced with. We have temptations, and trials. And Father, we're just asking that we will not be impatient and get ahead of You and make decisions on our own. But we're humbly asking that You will help us to be patient and wait upon You for Your divine leadership and guidance. Father, I commit this message into Your hand and Father, I humbly ask these things in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. I'll turn the service back over to Brother Allen. the Lord tonight. Thank you, Brother Bud. It was a short message, but I won't question his uh, leadership in this, so may the Lord bless our brother. Let's stand if we would. And if anyone tonight has a need and wants to be prayed for, uh, you're welcome to come. That wait upon the Lord, oh, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Oh, they shall run and not grow weary. They shall. 
day they'll wait upon the Lord who shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Oh, they shall run and not grow weary. They shall are going and a company that like Chick-fil-A can't even voice their opinion about a, a problem that's in this country without all this boycott and stuff like that. I, it just makes me want to eat more chicken from Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I'm 
got the best sandwich out there anyway. You say, well, you're advertising for him. I am. Yeah. Brother David, would you pray as we're dismissed?